We go to Peterson Field and Rockway for the Morris County semifinals and watch Butler pitcher Larissa Spellman get the inning-ending strikeout for the top-seeded Bulldogs. In the bottom of the first, Butler threatens with a runner on, but Montville pitcher Jessica Shalongo returns the favor here for the fifth-seeded Mustangs as she gets the strikeout. Now watch Butler pitcher Larissa Spellman cap a 1-2-3 inning with another strikeout, and this Morris County semifinal is still scoreless. And in a battle of two of the county's top pitchers, it's Jessica Salongo with another strikeout for Montville, and we still have no score. Okay, we move to the bottom of the fourth and with a Butler runner on third, watch Montville catcher Tammy Lake with the heads of play and the great shoot to third baseman Rachel Inglesino for the out to end the inning, and we still have no score. Great throw there by Lake. All right, big inning here for Butler here in the bottom of the fifth. It's Wendy Maurer. Watch her rip this two-out double to left to get the Bulldogs rolling. Then it's Allie Spellman with the slow roller to second as she legs out the infield single, but on the error, Maurer comes around to score, and Butler has a 1-0 lead as Spellman takes second. Now remember, there are two outs, and on this high infield pop-up by Larissa Spellman, Ali Spellman is on the move, and she scores when it drops in, and it's 2-0 Butler as we go to the sixth. Hustle pays off, folks. All right, we all know Montville is never out of the game with the way they hit, and watch Jay Tungle get a hold of this pitch for the solo blast to center, and Montville trails 2-1 here in the sixth inning. That got out in a hurry, folks. All right, bottom of the sixth, and watch Brittany Presto make the nice snag at first base to end the bottom of the sixth for Montville, keeping it 2-1. And Butler punches its ticket for its first ever Morris County Final as Larissa Spellman gets the strikeout here with a Montville runner on as Butler tops Montville 2-1 as it faced number two Morris Knowles in the county final Thursday night at Peterson Field in Rockaway. It's uh, definitely a, it was definitely a tough, tough game. We, we had to battle back Butler. We were very confident coming into it, but... Um, yeah, we just we we lost, but we're definitely going to come back real strong because I know I know I know these girls and I know that they always have the energy and the confidence to get through anything, even a loss like this. I thought that uh, Butler's a pretty good team. Um, you know, we didn't play our A game today. Uh, you know, we need a little more timely hitting. Uh, I thought Shalongo did a really great job on the mound for us, uh, keeping our composure, getting some big strikeouts. Um, you know, we had one bad inning and, you know, playing a good team like Butler, if that happens, you know, it's going to be tough to win. You know, it's going to be usually comes down to the team that makes the most mistakes. And unfortunately, we made the most mistakes. Jessica, you had a nice day from the circle. Just talk about lots of strikeouts. Um, yeah, just went ahead on batters and went right at them, uh, focusing on getting ahead and shutting them, shutting them down as early as possible. Yeah, the season's not over. This is a loss, but you're moving forward hard. You're 11 and five now. You could probably get a pretty good seed in the state playoffs. Just talk about that. Um, yeah, we're really pumped. Obviously, with a little bit of a letdown here, um, we're looking forward and going on to the next thing, next big thing for Montville.